We'll make a hoard out of gold. <laughs> okay. So if I remember from last time, you actually got some gold! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! A little bit. Yeah. You also got drunk. You sure did. I didn't. <laughs> yes, no, you didn't. <laughs> the Sorry, response. I'm part of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a hangover is, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were able to cross the first thing on the top of your list off, and you can call it good. Huzzah! Yay! Aha! As Huzzah! Yes, yes. As a result, each one of you has gained 15 pieces of gold. Oh, nice. Time to go chuck it in the river. <laughs> nice. Go do that. <laughs> a worthy but. start. But now, you got to look for the next of the list so you can keep that pile growing, yeah? Yeah. Aye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next on the list, you see two things at the same time. So they could seem to be interchangeable. One is the written type of lapis lazuli. Ooh. If I could spell that right. What's singing? The lapis lazuli. It has a lovely ting to it. But unfortunately, I can't spell for shit. But that's okay. The other side says a very strange word, but you believe it's pronounced orichalcum. Oh. Well, I don't know that word. Sounds like Thanks, you lady. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That. That. We need to find one of these two things. Possibly both. Po but we need to find at least one of these things. Hmm. I know one of these is a kind of precious stone. Aye. And I, I'm, I'm uh, debating on whether or not to, to give it. Considering that thing is blue, chances are uh, some a certain someone's gonna chuck that thing in the river. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> but if you chuck a blue thing blue in the blue like the water. If you chuck a blue thing in the river, will you ever be able to find it? Well, I mean, I'd have to draw a neat little pirate map or something, but I'm sure I could find it again. Good. I have freaky. confidence in my little brother. Confidence. Mm. Yay. That's something we need more of. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm actually a little surprised you do. <laughs> I need to be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> So now the main goal is to either hunt down for some fancy jewels or find out what this Aura Chalcum stuff is. Um, can we I can we to... ask the barkeep what, what that is? Sure, why not? Hey, barkeep, uh, what's that, uh, Aura Chalcum? <laughs> um, yeah, that one, what's that there? Aura Chalcum? Yes. Or chalcum is sort of a kind of gold, you see. Gold? Ooh, gold, you say. Yeah, it's not used much for currency lack. It's more used for uh, enchanting items and whatnot. I get right up in his face, like, <laughs> bitch, I'm almost standing on the bar stool. Enchanted items, like magic items. Calm your horses, like, Missy. Right on the tape. Calm your horses. I don't appreciate people in my space. <laughs> I, I pick her up and put her back down on the floor. This is done effortlessly. But yeah, Orchalcum is a rare metal with magical properties. They're only really found in one place, though. Small remote islands off the coast of the sea, you see. What's did, up? Did you say the sea? Yeah. Yes, he did. Oh my god. Guys, 
We're gonna go to the sea. Oh, we have to go to the sea. yes. Oh, let's That's do that one. Team. I want to do that one. Platinum on that island, and we'll have all three of us sit. <laughs> today, today, today. We have to go get some of this. Okay, this is super important. Okay. I, uh, I agree. I agree, sis. Let's uh, let's go. Leave the treasure. Heck yeah. Well, y'all gonna be traveling for a few days then. It's worth yeah. it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Let's go. It let's go right now. Let's, uh, yep. No, let's go right now. Let's do it. If it's gonna be a long journey, though, if it's gonna be a long journey, though, don't you think we should, uh, should maybe rest up? I mean, how much help we all got? Can, uh, can Ermi sit right? Ermi? No, no, I can't can sit. You? Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Little Mr. Takes a Dive in a River. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I was just fine. It's because of my innate love of the water, I guess. All right, y'all. Listen up. The main path you want to travel for is the main road down Tom Square. It is the big, fancy road that leads to the right edge of the of the village gate as soon as you get out there follow that path for three days and then make a left follow the yellow brick road got it let's go let's do it today make a left remember the, the left to I will remember the, magic. the left <laughs> and like today's make a left three days and with that, all three of you just seem to scamper out of the tavern and out into the wilderness without any regard of any sort of anything else. Yep. I'm gonna I die. Mean, the sea's involved, so there you go. I'm gonna get regard. a magic item. <laughs> I'm finally gonna make some magic stuff. Look who's a happy girl. Hope sleep and heal, her. It's too late. You guys left the if tavern. If I die, I die. <laughs> You guys left the <laughs> tavern. It's too late. <laughs> you easily manage to find the fr the front of the town gate and a long winding road that is laid behind in front of you that leads right into the forest. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. And we're Let's off. Go. You're off to see the wizard. Wait, wizard. I don't remember there's a wizard involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> and if I remember correctly, you guys are still low on health. Not completely low on health. I mean, you're not dying Jump or anything. It. But you guys should be okay for a while. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. It's a three, it's a three day walk, so... I guess maybe we can rest up on the way. Maybe. Oh, we, we can, can rest, rest when we're at the sea. <laughs> we can last three days without food or rest. We have done that before. We were hatchlings. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, hatchlings in one cave. All by ourselves. Both perfectly. <laughs> Look at my little ass. <laughs> there you go. Big muscle man. The big buff one. Whoever, who is who, it doesn't matter to me. Either way. <laughs> All right. For the passage of time, you guys start walking for an entire day. The sun starts to set by the time you guys actually feel tired and hungry and already sick of this, and it's only the first day. <laughs> gotta do this for two more days. We gotta get to the how, sea. How do humans get anywhere with these tiny legs? <laughs> I. Hold on, I'm. Oh god. Uh. Fly! Ugh. Uh, right, right. Right. Can we, can uh, we fly? Uh, uh, <laughs> we should... We... Fly! We should... <laughs> dragons! Oh god, please carry me, I can't do this anymore! <laughs> I'll carry... 
You carry. One of y'all, but we can't fly. Let me let me me. Okay, I'll carry it. All right, wait. Okay, what if I, what if I carry Hermes and Zidane carries me? Can we, can we do that? <laughs> what? Onward, my noble steed. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know what this feed is. Hermes climbs. <laughs> Hermes climbs on to uh, Anthemar, and Anthemar attempts to climb onto Zidane. <laughs> that's my butt. It's Carry me, brother. Please tell me I don't have to roll and see how successful this is. <laughs> you mean what I'm about to ask you to do right now? A 1d20. You sure should. Well, what was that? 12. A 12, you say, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you managed to hold on to them for just long enough before <laughs> you all seem to fall flat on your face onto the ground. <laughs> it was a, it was a good idea, I thought. I feel great. I'm not dying. <laughs> I crawl further with them on my back. Okay, my turn. I'll carry you guys. <laughs> Come on, get All on my right. back. I got this. Anrimar, Anrimar hops into Aramis's arms. <laughs> okay. I totally got this. <laughs> and you fall down once again because your strength is only a 15. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm been sat on twice. <laughs> and I'm kind of hungry. Is there anything around here that's edible? Hmm. You see a forest. You see an open plain. You see your siblings. You see a carriage in the They're far distance. <laughs> please, please don't eat me. I'll let you eat my leg if you let me eat your arm. <laughs> I mean, your tail's already been a little charged, so we could probably cook that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I draw the line at the tail. <laughs> But those are your options. There's an approaching cart. Oh my god. Social activity. <laughs> Bullshit. Let them rot. Is there any food? Everybody has to be an introvert. Yes. <laughs> the cart seems to get closer. You hear the clitter clatter of horse hooves coming by. But you also start hearing jingling and jangling and roughage of th of sorts. Santa? Santa? <laughs> I try my best to ignore the words I just heard and shout, Hey! Lift! Please! <laughs> All day. As... I... What do you do? What do you do? Come on. What do you do? Oh, well. Um, I whisper. I whisper. Hey, maybe we could eat the horse. I stand up and try to tackle the horse. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> All right, roll one, two, three. Let's wait, go. Hold on, hold Come on. on, let's go. You're doing Come this. On. You're doing this. I'm tackling the horse. Uh, what do I need to roll? Roll that twenty. <laughs> um, I'm tackling the horse. What do I need to do? Roll a twenty. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Fuck three. <laughs> <laughs> Before you even get to the horse, you trip and fall onto your face, only managing to grab a hoof. I try to bite that. <laughs> the hoof kicks you in the face before you manage to do so. 
I'll help. I also try and tackle the horse. Roll to see I, if you do I, so. I shout at both of them. I shout to stop. Because <laughs> I thought you were the smart one, Hermes. I, <laughs> I, I rolled, I rolled a seven. One. You rolled a seven? You charge after the horse again. Uh, you do actually manage to grab its leg without tripping yourself, but it does <laughs> manage to kick you off as well. <laughs> you notice that the horse is also wearing thick armor, which was a surprising th detail. Along with the fact that the carriage itself is covered with a horrifying display of every single trinket you could possibly think of. Mm. Um. Uh, I shot towards the direction of the carriage. Hey, uh, we need some help. <laughs> I have a black eye. <laughs> I mean, I probably have a black eye. So just assume I have a black eye. I didn't take any damage, but I have a black eye because they look cool. <laughs> Look cool. <laughs> Remember, kids, black eyes look cool. <laughs> Hell yeah! Also, scars and broken noses. But I'm too. Oh crazy. yeah, my impressionable young mind. I'm gonna go give myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I have the highest charisma. <laughs> <laughs> From within the car carriage, a large being comes out, fully in anciently designed armor. Do you know where the sea is? Can you give me your armor? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> Pardon me, sir. You, you might need to remove your helmet there, pal. Just give me the armor, please. <laughs> he carefully- Please, sir, bud. <laughs> no, sir. What were you saying? Please. Continue. Hey, sir. But could you give us a? You, you seem to be heading in the same direction as we are. Could you please give us a lift? <laughs> as long as you possibly, for as long or as short as you possibly can. Hmm, <laughs> that's a Walking. strong charisma talk right and there, huh? <laughs> the man manages to finally like take off his helmet. Underneath, you see a face of a human. Whew! Sorry, there. It's hard to talk in this thing. Hmm? Greetings. Hi. It seems that you three are in quite a horrible state. Oh, well, you know, we're uh, we're a little hungry. And a little tired. Uh. And and very insane. <laughs> or at least these two are. I'm the one that apparently keeps them in keeps them in check. I see. You guys are in such a sore shape, you tried to it seems like you tried to eat my horse. I was really I mean, hungry, okay? He looked a little he looked a little tasty. You got a you got a very nice there some good some good meat on his bones from my point i from my point i figured that that was just them trying to hail you down for some type of help because by all means you look like someone who if you help someone you'd give them all the like you'd help them in ways they would never imagine just <laughs> wow do you look awesome well such is the way of the traveler right how long have you guys been traveling for? Must have been a while since- I can't with my fingers. By the size of your calluses on the feet. Oh, I you can't. know, we've been out for about a day. Two days. Ah. Two days? It's been a while. <laughs> ah. So long that they don't even know how many times the sun is set. <laughs> Well, uh, Ryan reminds me of my time at the sea because, of course, I am a sailor, as you can tell. Of course you can, sir. Well, I usually am in a terrible mood. 
Why don't we just put, set up camp for here, huh? I'll offer you some of my rations. Camp? That sounds wonderful. Come on, armies, you've seen camps before. I have? Where? <laughs> Talk to me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Mama? Her mama's told us about camps before. Wait. Oh, this uh this journey this journey has uh has clearly gotten us winded. Wait, 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 you mean those like little firefly things that sometimes appear in the forest? Yes. Oh. I thought they were fireflies. But bigger and yummier. The food that was cooked on those, on those firefly thingies. That's what we used to, that's what we used to call that good old mutton we used to eat together. Yummy firefly thingies. Oh, okay. I... Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I, I, I got you now, I got you now. I thought you were talking about fireflies. Trio of weirdos. <laughs> While you were talking and discussing these things, you blink and suddenly there's a campfire. You don't know how that happened, or where it usually came from, but there it is. A roaring campfire with the guy in super heavy armor sitting next to it. Where'd that fire come from? Is he a I... dragon too? What? Dragons? What are you three talking about dragons for? Um, uh, I just, you know, we've seen a few in passing. No reason. <laughs> they're just, they're just neat, you know. The dragons are cool. Very pretty, <laughs> very big. It makes my brain go serotonin. <laughs> Aren't you an interesting punch? No, no, I just have some flint on me. This armor has many different compartments, you see, for emergency purposes. I often keep it well stocked with any sort of rations I would need on a long trip. I was like, you're very well prepared. If we were like you. <laughs> I would recommend you all start collecting as many things as you can for travel and survival. No matter what sort of thing you're looking for, it always helps to be in good hands. But we don't have armor like yours. Where would we carry such things? Well, that's part of the fun, isn't it? You get to find things to carry things in. <laughs> oh. things. We need a boat. Neat. I roll for perception around to see what in the general area that doesn't belong to this guy that I can find. <laughs> All right, roll. Like Take her something. Come on, roll. Roll that one d twenty. Rolled an eleven. Rolled it in eleven. You find a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Stick on the fire. <clears throat> guess I start. Guess I started my journey. Guess I started uh, my journey. Mm -hmm. This stick is gonna lead to things. <laughs> you equip the stick as a weapon, then. Yep. Perfect. Now it's one of the only items that you share within the three of you. Congrats. Horde is starting, guys! Oh, yeah! <laughs> got us! Stick. I got a stick, I got a stick. I'm gonna power that I have. I'm totally gonna. Oh, fuck, I forgot how the song goes. Shit, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are scrambling around trying to find things, the strange armored man tends to the fire. When it's a proper size, he stands up and goes to his. Very strangely decorated wagon to see what he can find for dinner. His back is turned. Um. <clears throat> you know, his back is turned. There's things in a world. This is the perfect mm -hmm. opportunity to, oh, I don't know, do something maybe? 
I know what you're insinuating, Miss Fix Lady. I don't like it. This guy's nice. I, he might be nice, not... but uh, what uh, what nice things does he have? I don't know. You want to go check it out? Yeah, I'll make a perception. All right, roll that perception. Roll. Per- Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Well, you can't really see into the tart because his big armored butt is in the way of the entrance. <laughs> But on the outsides, you see fancy silks and scarves hanging from it. Little dealies that seem to blow and twiddle in the wind. And the unmistakable clinking and clanking of metals and maybe even shiny things. Look, listen, I might be a dragon and I want shinies more than anything, but Mama didn't race a thief. So, we, like, like, and Ramar, no, we got a stick, but, but we can have so much more, and, and I want to be a pirate, so, I, I could start now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. The struggle. Is there anything like? Oh my. Is there anything like shiny within reach that I could grab? Uh, within reach, there are a few things on top of the roof that seem shiny, like roof decorations. But mm. that would require climbing on top of the wagon. Oh. <laughs> Sidney, Sidney, wait, no, fuck. Uh, Justin, what's your character's name? Uh, Anirmar. Anirmar. I, I don't think I could pronounce that. Anirmar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Annie. Annie. Just call him Annie. Call me Annie. Annie, yeah. Annie, 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 Annie. Get, like, get me on your shoulders. I'll get, I'll, I'll get that stuff on the top. Come on, okay, help me out. Okay. All right. Do my. I, I, I hold my stick close and try to convince them. It's a bad idea. All right, so they, all three of you, you keep watch, okay? All three of you, keep watch. Roll one d twenty right now. Seven. Ten. Two. <laughs> we suck. Ah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> hmm. Nope. Oh, no. Again, Zidane and Ermes are equally matched. Her stubbornness cannot withstand your charisma. Her wi- stubbornness. <laughs> Her stubbornness absolutely stands your charisma. <clears throat> but as you two seem to work together, you climb on top of Anramar's shoulders, the guy turns around, and you lost your window of opportunity. So now you're just caught sitting on top of his shoulders. Oh! Get back, Ron! Um, we're just uh, practicing for a performance. Yeah! I... Practicing climbing trees, and by all intents and purposes, you were the tallest thing in the area. Yeah! I'm super terrible. <laughs> and they can throw me in the air, and I'll just land right back on their arms. Exactly. Uh, we're, we're traveling performers. Ho ho ho! What a sight to see, then! I'm pl- I am honored to be in your presence, then. Indeed. He walks back to the yeah, fire. Yeah, these guys are comedians. <laughs> he walks back to the fire with th- four sticks of what <clears throat> looks like skinned rabbit. Annie, 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 drop me, drop me, drop me. All right, I'm dropped. Thanks. <laughs> I rush no, over on. to the fire and I'm just on my knees like a pu- well, okay, no, 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 that, that sounds wrong, that sounds wrong, I'm- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm like sitting on my knees, Okay. Like, right in front of this man, like a dog, just ready for food, just 
Please, I'm hungry. With them big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> I'm the game. <laughs> he carefully puts the sticks into the ground and puts it around the fire, letting the fire cook the meat within it. Wait a little bit. Yep. The best things come to those who wait. But I want it now. I'm already drooling. <laughs> the man manages to take off his helmet once again and looks to all of you. I am Rakit. I am a traveling collector of various oddities. May I ask for your names? Um, I'm Anrimar. Terror of the Seven Seas. Name is the Dane. Nice to meet you. I'm Ermes. My hair is silver. A fine treat it might be then, my dear. Be careful that bandits don't steal your hair in the night. What? <laughs> <laughs> steal my hair? I would love to see them try. <laughs> yeah! Have them come over. I'll eat them. Aye. She will, too. Are you practicing cannibals by chance? Metaphorically. <laughs> like, this girl's a joke. This girl's a jokester. Ah, one of your farces. No. no. I'll, really eat, I'll really eat them. Let them try. She will do. She will. I've seen her do it before. When they commit to a bit, they commit to a bit. Ah, I see. How lovely to jokesters you are then. Ho ho. Please forgive. The only thing I quite have on my hands in such quantity is rabbit. I hope you do not have a disdain for it. It's fine. I'll eat anything. Oh, <laughs> this is literally the best thing that anyone's ever handed us to, to us right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Considering the situation we were in before. My only hope is that you will be able to take this kindness and offer someone else kindness in return. Maybe. By all means, I'm always happy to help. Yeah, oh. sure. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I'll come on. Thing. Gather around the fire. It gets cold often at night around these parts. You don't need to be cold and tired. <sighs> Iris. I eat my meat yeah. so fucking fast that I'm choking <laughs> on it. <laughs> Like, I'm, like, choking on it. All right, well, when you're 20. my siblings Come on. a little help. Just a little nudge. Just something. Please help me. I'm choking, guys. Uh, I'll save you. I, like, start, like, slapping her on the back. Ooh. Oof. Okay, roll 1d20. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Roll! <laughs> oh, uh, no. 10. I got a 1. <laughs> I got a 1. You got a 1. <laughs> you are oh, no. actually choking. And you're managing <laughs> to take damage as you eat the still not fully cooked rabbit. I thought, I thought that was done already. <laughs> My jaw is dropped. I, 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 I'm, I'm panicking. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dancing around her like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can I make like I a, can, can I make, like, a strength train. check or something to like slap her on the back or something? Yep, yep, go ahead. You did before, but it wasn't good enough. You gotta do it again. Ah. Oh, nat 20. A nat 20! Well, good, I only rolled a 19, so <laughs> you managed to actually spit the piece of meat that was choking her out of her throat and into the fire. Yeah. Oh god, I don't want to- I, I'm, I'm tired of being stupid, holy shit. I try, must trust I, this stick! I 
I stick the stick into the fire and and try and get the rabbit out. I was, dude, bro, I was about to stick my whole hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick the stick in the fire. <laughs> You just keep sticking your body parts in the shit. <laughs> I thought you were the smart one. No! I will stick the stick in the fire. May I please roll my 20? Yes, go ahead. 19! 19! You somehow not only managed to save the slightly charred rabbit, but your stick doesn't catch on fire. Hey. Oh my god. I like this stick. <laughs> I take I take the meat from his stick and put it back in my mouth and chew slower this time. <laughs> don't choke! Please don't choke! Okay. I got this, I got this. You managed to eat your meal, but you don't regain any HP because it only regains the HP you got from fumbling and choking from the original time you try to eat it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, being stupid. Is mine done yet? <laughs> yes, the rabbits are done. <laughs> I, 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 I eat my rabbit. Immediately sobbing. <laughs> I also eat my rabbit, but I also eat it extremely. <laughs> oh my I god! Try and... I try to take some from Amy. That's gonna close no. Amy. <laughs> I offer her a tiny piece of my rabbit too, so that she might actually heal. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You manage to share and enjoy your rabbit without <laughs> dying or choking. <laughs> Zidane regains all of his health back. Oh my god. Ermes is still down by 6 HP, but that's her fault. Yeah. <laughs> and Anramar, you're doing swell. Yeet. Yeah. All the while, Rakit has been forced to watch that entire antic off the <laughs> side of the fire and is just staring at all three of you with wide eyes. Ta da! <laughs> Are you enjoying the show? Oh ho ho! You lot are certainly funny parse. Although, their antics do have me worried about your travels. Are you experienced travelers by any means? I've sailed the seven seas all my life. I know a thing or two about travel. I see. This is the first time any of us have traveled on land. Ah, oh, I right, land is a different story. You are, how you say, getting your la- getting your- Land legs? Uh, what's that phrase? I suppose so. We're uh, getting our we're getting our tiny feet shoved in the dirt. <laughs> I believe that saying works as well. <clears throat> Say, since you are from the Seven Seas, care to regale me with some sea shanties and stories? Oh, you. Bet I can. All uh -oh. right. So, there I was. Aboard my vessel. The... The... Sea dragon. <laughs> okay, hold on, um, hold on. You gotta draw this yeah. out. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can do that. All right. <laughs> ah, the water. Indeed. There we go. Here's there you the were. Vessel. On the seven seas. <laughs> on all of them at the same time. <laughs> all seven seas at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really big boat. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, hum some fitting music behind them <laughs> while he's telling the story. Ah. <laughs> All right, so there I was mm -hmm. aboard my vessel, the, the sea dragon, mm -hmm. and I was sailing mm -hmm. on one of the mm -hmm. seven seas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I was just minding my own business, being a sailor and drinking mm -hmm. the whiskey. There it is. Uh, there's my whiskey I was drinking. And He's a drunk. Then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this big, awesome, totally badass sea dragon came out of the water. And I think, I think his name was Adramar. And His name's Amramar. Same as you, though. And he was really cool and had these awesome, like, mustache bits and fins that were, that could cut the waves in twain. And I... he was like, I will fight you, old sailor. But then mm. I told him who mm. I was. And mm. I told him that I was prepared to fight. And my whiskey turned into a sword. <laughs> And I mm. threw it and prepared for combat mm. the dreaded Anramar. Mm. And then mm. Anramar, the really, really awesome, terrible mm. sea dragon that he was, mm. uh, he was like, mm. oh, I can't possibly defeat you, you awesome person. And I was like, oh, I feel the same way about you. And... I asked him, can I take his name for how awesome he was? And he said, yes, for I was an awesome sailor as well. And so that's the story of how I got my name. I heard Animar was shredded. I heard Animar had a six pack. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a oh, joke. you bet he did. <laughs> he, was, he was a shredded, ripped dragon. Six pack. He had the best sunglasses <laughs> and a really cool katana. <laughs> it's like a stick, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like a stick, but shiny and pointier and better than yours. And he drove a motorcycle. <laughs> In the water? <laughs> a water cycle. What is motor cycle of you speak? Well, I didn't know of it either, but I, that is, that is the tale of how I fought a, I almost fought the coolest sea dragon ever there ever was and got my name. That explains why you shared the same name as this mighty beast. Indeed, indeed. We struck an accord that day. How brave of you not to try and slay it. I could, I could never slay something so amazingly awesome. And the, because how could you? He, he was just too powerful. But I was also too powerful. So we just, you know, kind of shook hands. Ah, dragons are a mighty bunch after all. Wise and reasonable beings. That come along with their inevitableness. They Indeed. Come so, so very wise. They definitely don't choke on their food. <laughs> uh, yeah, they sure don't. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Dragons sure are something. As long as you don't seem to get on their bad side. I have met uh, no, too never. many. I have met too many a good adventurer back in the day, that have met a whole gruesome fate, trying to hunt for the scales of a dragon. Oh, the we'll scales are pretty cool. <clears throat> we'll be fine. Those just fall off of the season. At the end of the season. All, like, all of that to get, like, all of that to get something that falls off every, <laughs> falls off every few months. Oh, no, Tragic. no, no. It's not just the scales, after all. As, see, if it's still attached to the skin, it makes some of the finest armor in all of the nine realms. 
Heck yeah, it does. That shit protects you out of everything. You guys, you humans haven't made a metal that's strong enough to pierce it. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Are you saying you're not human? <laughs> what? Human? You just said that you humans do not know the half of it of how strong dragon armor is. Your words. Oh no, we sure do. It's humans. We us do, we humans. do. Yeah, us, us humans, you know. Ah, I see. Just choked on a rabbit. <laughs> Her her language is kind of indeed indeed. Kind of. <laughs> but you're a little shook up. Uh, you're a little shook up, Arby's. How's about you go? How's about we go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. <clears throat> so you guys are choosing to sleep. I suppose so. Much For as now. I would love to sit up and talk some more, because, ooh -wee, I would love to hear about uh, some of those things that uh, that Rakit was talking about. He looks like my kind of guy, like the kind that would, like the kind that would chop a dire wolf's head clean off. <laughs> he looks real cool, don't he? But I think you guys deserve some well good rest. You guys choose to curl. Fair point. Plop. <laughs> You guys choose to curl up on t near the fire, relaxing and falling asleep for the night. Under the watchful eye and care of this total stranger that you just fell asleep in front of. <laughs> ah, it's fine. He gave us some rabbit. Yeah, we're kind of dumb like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You guys managed to not die most mostly, right? Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope you don't you don't get robbed blind within the middle of the night. Huzzah. And with that, you guys fall asleep and get ready for the next day. And that wraps up for today's adventure. I was ready to wake Ooh. up in the middle of the night and steal the thing that I wanted to steal earlier. Ooh! Did you choose to do that? <laughs> you want to do it? What was that? You want to do it? I want to do it. You I want to yeah, try. Yeah. You want to do it? I want to try. All right. <clears throat> you wake up in the middle of the night. The fire has gone I out. Smack. <laughs> the fire has gone out. Nothing but singes. The guy, or at least his armor pieces, are... Sitting next to the fire, looking like he's asleep. You're the only one awake. What do you do? I smack my sibling's face. I smack Emmy's face to wake him up. All right. Emmy, 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 wake up. Yes. Ah, oh, 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 the seven seas, what? Be quiet. Hey, oh. the guy's asleep. Let's go take the thing that we wanted from the top of his weird car. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Again, I get on his shoulders. And very slowly try and reach for the thing at the very top at the of the car. Okay. Very slowly, both of you go over and reach up. Both of you, roll a 1d20 real quick. You gotta roll. 18. 13. 13, 18? Okay. You two manage to not fall over. You two manage to <laughs> slowly reach up and you grab onto the base of one of the shiny things. It looks like a beautiful bronze chicken. Oh, yes. Bronze. <laughs> the best. Be quiet. As you try and pull I... it. You try and pull it? Yeah? You try and, pull, try it? and pull it? You're going to try yeah. and pull it? Yes. You slowly, you yes. slowly try and pull at this <clears throat> Beautifully bronze chicken. <laughs> Beautifully bronze chicken. You grab onto the base of the chicken and it is stuck. What do you do? Um, I pull harder. Pull harder. 
You start pulling and pulling and pulling to the point where it's starting to get <clears throat> the, uh, Anthemar off balance. Anthemar, quickly, you must roll a 1d8. Oh, a d8? Okay. A d8. Keeping you on yeah. your toes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me find one really quick. Ah. Ah, there we go. That'll be a four. <laughs> okay, okay. You're wobbling. <laughs> you're wobbling. But you're still managing to get on your feet. But as you pull and pull and pull, a puff of black smoke suddenly appears and smacks into your face. Who? Ah! <clears throat> you both end up stumbling, letting go of the chicken and falling onto the ground. With a I... thud. <coughs> what is this thing? Ah! What was that? I can't see. It dissipates quickly, but now you two are covered in black soot. This is bad. It sure oh, is. Oh boy. All right. Uh, we need to go wash this off, like, right now. Yep. Uh, I do a perception check to look for water, I think. Okay. Roll that 1d20. Roll the big one. It's always the big uh, one. 15. 15. You're plum out of luck. No water. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> um, I try to rub off the suit with my dress. Off your dress? With huh? my clothes. It only manages to get it on your face and your clothes. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really, really Video bad. Just wet me up. <laughs> Do you choose to? Oh, uh, I'm gonna be really upset. Uh. Oh, I have an idea. Let's roll on the ashes of the campfire. If we're all covered in suit, he won't know yes. which one it is. Let's yes. go. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! So Jeez. we take the ashes from the campfire and just rub it everywhere we possibly can in our clothes, in our back, in my hair, in his, between his toes. Ew. In my beard. <laughs> in your beard. Just all right. use as much ash as we can. Just cover up our sins and crimes. <laughs> you start throwing ashes into the air amongst everybody around you. You manage to get it onto you, your brothers, the sleeping the sleeping armor of the, of your guest, even some of the cart. There is now black shirt and ashes everywhere. <laughs> To the point where even the grass below you is now stained with all of this blackened earth. There we go. Problem solved. Let's go back to bed. Yep. <laughs> Sleepy time. None of this, like, nothing ever happened. Hey, uh, Emmy. Right. Emmy. Chicken in your dress. Uh... Oh, thank God. <laughs> Emmy. Emmy. Yes, Look at me. Yes. We never try to do this, okay? Uh, Nobody can know we try. About. I don't know what you're talking so, about. Okay, so how do we got covered in suit? Um, the fire exploded. Uh, great idea. Okay, great. Let's go to bed. Yes. We go back to sleep. We all go back to sleep. <laughs> ah. <laughs>